Okay. Good morning, everyone. Hope you had a lovely weekend. Um, we're going to start off with some shout outs again for the work that we received last week. First person is from Mrs. McManus's class, and it's Kaif for the wonderful um, leaflet that he put together and all the detail and all the effort they've put into that work. So excellent. Well done. Keep up that standard of work for us. The second person is Dua. Mrs McManus was really impressed with the work that you showed on Google Classrooms on Friday. I'm really sorry that I didn't see it. Maybe you can bring that into school with you, Dua, when we're all back together again. I'd love to see that. And finally, my class, Isa. My goodness me, you are doing everything with 100% commitment. You're so... Um, positive in these very uncertain times you just put a smile on my face every day you always leave me a very kind message on the blog and i'm just really really um happy with the quality of work that i'm getting from you so well done everybody on the shout out today uh so today what you're going to do is we'd like you to put together a storyboard which is a little bit like a comic book and you're going to order the story so you read it twice, once on Thursday, once on Friday. So this should be straightforward enough. If you did what I asked you to do, which was to read it carefully and not just rush straight through, you should um, be able to remember the story. Now, a storyboard looks like this. You're going to need to draw six pictures with six text boxes underneath. So if you notice, the text boxes are smaller because that's where your sentences are going to go. And here will be a picture to um, represent this sentence. So Sammy and his grandmama are going to the nearby town. So you are going to draw Sammy and his grandmama are going to the nearby town. Now, if you're drawing this, I expect you to really give this some time and put in a level of detail. I don't want to see stick people. I don't want to see things like that year four. And I know that we've got some fantastically talented artists in our year group. So I expect everybody to make an effort. And I don't want to hear, oh, I can't draw. That's OK. I can't draw, but I can still put in the effort and the time to make my drawing as good as it can be for me. OK, so that's what I would like you to do. You're going to be given these sentences and they're all jumbled up and you've got to decide which order to put those sentences in. Now, this one here with the tick has been done for you. That's the first sentence, which is why it goes underneath the first box there. So you've got to look at the remaining sentences and decide what is you know what's going to happen next and so on all the way through to the end now um i understand that not all of you might have pencils and um paper at home so i have um set a sheet on purple mash where you can order the sentences and you can have a go at drawing the picture but you know if you can't draw the picture i don't mind on the purple mash the sentences are more important i want to know that you've ordered the story I want to see that you actually read that story twice last week. OK, you're not just guessing at this, that you actually can sequence that. So if you're doing it on Purple Mash, I don't mind if you don't do the drawings. I'm interested in the sentences. But what you'll have to do is you might have to jot them down or get or keep referring back to um, the instruction um, Purple Mash sheet because um, they're on different pages. There's a page that gives you the instructions. There's a page for you to fill in the actual work. But if you would like to do it on paper, which makes it easier because you can have the instructions up in front of you and then you can write on your paper, um, then could you send them to us to the year four email, please, so we can see those. Right, everyone, I hope that you enjoy that task. Good luck. We look forward to seeing your uh, work.